All right, so this is the Viltrox EF to M2 adapter for Micro Four Thirds cameras. This allows you to use Canon EF lenses on a Micro Four Thirds camera body. It's also a smart adapter, so you can still use autofocus and stabilization and everything. I have a GH5S and a Sigma 18 to 35. I'm gonna show you how to install this and how to fix a focusing issue that some people run into, including myself. So let's get undone. Let's get into it. So inside the box you have the documentation, you have the adapter itself, and you have a little tool to remove the tripod mount on the bottom. I've had the first version of this adapter for about a year and a half now, and it's been fine up until a couple days ago when it just stopped working. Uh, none of my lenses were connecting. So I thought I'd just buy the second version and give it a shot. Also, this adapter includes a 0.71 times magnification focal reducer, which helps offset much of the crop factor of micro four thirds cameras, while also concentrating the light in order to increase its effective aperture by one stop. So on my Sigma 18 to 35, 1.8, I'm actually getting down to about a 1.2 on the aperture, which is pretty cool. I didn't really see any differences between version one and version two, except for the quote unquote newly improved contact pins on the micro four thirds side of the mount. Um, so maybe that means faster autofocus, but I haven't really noticed that. So in order to install this on your camera, it's very simple. Just attach it like you would a normal lens. In my case, I had to remove the tripod mount on the bottom of the adapter because it won't work with my camera cage. And once you have the adapter installed, you can just attach any Canon EF mount lens that you want. Now, once you have this adapter on your camera and you have a Canon EF lens attached to it, you may notice that you can't focus on things far away. It's like your focus doesn't quite reach distant objects or it goes beyond distant objects. You just need to adjust the adapter's glass element to be closer or further away from your camera sensor. And it's really easy to do. So to fix this, you need to take your adapter back off of your camera and take the lens off the adapter. And you're gonna have to rotate the element clockwise or counterclockwise until you hit the right infinity focus. So in my case, I had to do a couple turns counterclockwise and I was able to hit focus on distant objects. And this is just trial and error. You have to try it a few times until you hit right at perfect focus. All right, and once you've adjusted it, you can pop it back on your camera, pop a lens on, and hopefully you'll be able to hit focus on far or distant objects. And here's the results. I'll zoom in, and you can see I'm hitting focus clearly. And I can zoom out. I can still hit focus on that photo on the wall. And that's all there is to it. Pretty simple. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'll have another video out tomorrow, so stay tuned and later. So keep adjusting it either clockwise or counterclockwise until you hit the uh, infinity focus for your camera and you shouldn't have to change it after that.